Hey church, this is Nadine. We're going to take a look at Jesus's last temptation um, up on the mountain, Matthew 4, 8 through 11. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels attended him. So a few things stand out to me. The first word again um, is significant because, you know, temptation is not one of those things that you can just go, yeah, I did it. I'm good. I'm not going to have to go through that again. It's something that keeps showing up. And the other thing that, that struck me reading this was the devil took him to a very high mountain. And when you think about being high up on a mountain, you think that you can see clearly that you are probably going to be making decisions that make sense because you can see what is going on. And the devil takes him up there and shows him the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And it can be confusing because the world is a beautiful place as much as it is um, a hard place to be in. God made this a beautiful place. So Jesus is up on this mountain looking at the creation that he was a part of building. And I think what the focus is for me in, in looking at this is that that we think we have clarity when we're up on the mountain. We think that when we're looking at our lives that things make sense and we know which things to to choose and what to do. But but Jesus is clear about get away from me, Satan, worship the Lord your God. It is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only because it's not that the that the world doesn't have beautiful things to offer. It's that where is our focus? And if my focus is on, um, I want to get this thing that's lovely in the world and God wants me to have this thing, then I'm missing that my focus needs to be primarily on Jesus because he's the one that's going to offer me his way as opposed to just the things my eyes see and I think I'm seeing with clarity. So um, that's something I'm chewing this this evening in my car, um, as you can see. And the other last thing that I noticed too was when Jesus said, uh, away from me, because he's just reminding Satan, like, stop talking. I already know where my allegiance is. And he's no longer engaging in this dialogue and working it out. So there is a time to work out where our temptations are pulling us, where we have that lust of the eye or the flesh or whatever we're, we're battling. And then there's a time to decide, no, I know where my allegiance is. I know where my focus belongs and I'm going to turn my attention to that. Sure, I could probably have some of the things I look at on the horizon and could probably grasp with my own discernment and clarity, or I can turn to the Lord, worship him first and let him guide me to the things that um, are first and foremost. So bless you. Have a fabulous day.